I am Captain Kira, and this is what I do. So sit back and enjoy the ride. May your heart be your guiding key. Picture this. Huh? A black goat stashes away a letter, then orders a white goat to search for it. What could his intentions possibly be? Great! A riddle! Just what I need. There are many possibilities. Perhaps he forgot where it's hidden. Or he's playing a prank. Or the letter has truly gone missing. I can think of several reasons offhand. Guessing is simply useless. Well, then just follow your orders, plain and simple. Yes. That's what I've always done. I follow the orders from above, without question. However, I sometimes can't help but read into my opponent's strategy. <laughs> Too long on the job? If the contents of the box are so unknown, why is it of such critical importance to the organization? Furthermore, was it Xehanort or Xemnas who gave the order? Well, it's tricky. All Xehanort cares about is the clash between the Seven Lights and Thirteen Darknesses. It's unlikely he would hold such an interest in this mysterious box. Which means the order was issued by Xemnas, or the one who informed me of my task, you. As if. It must have been Xemnas. My inquiries suggested otherwise. Oh man, you asked him. <laughs> what are your intentions? Look, I don't know what's inside the box, but it's been protected by Keyblade wielders since way back when. Aren't you curious? I heard it contains information that's vital to all Keyblade wielders. Secrets. And where did you hear this? Hmm, I don't remember. I keep my eyes and ears wide open, but I've traveled so many different places. It's hard to keep everything straight, you know? If this box is truly as important as you say, why now? I believe you discovered that others also seek it. And you need to find it before anyone else does. In order to keep your connection to the box a secret from those around you. <laughs> Zigbar, who are you really? <sighs> <laughs> no matter. It doesn't make a difference to me. It's all the same. I'm content to feign ignorance. The question is, who are you, Luxord?
It's finally over. <laughs> oh, really? No. We'll find Kyrie. Let's head back to Master Yen Sid. We can figure it out. No. I know what to do. Sora! My whole journey began the day I lost her. And every time I find her, she slips away again. I thought we'd finally be together, but she's out there, alone. Not for one more second. Where'd you go? That's right. Thank you, Donald, Goofy. But this time, I have to go it alone. Sora, listen. The power of waking isn't to go chase hearts around. Even if you do locate Kyrie, you might never come home to us again. I will. And we'll both be back before you know it. Please. Let him go, Mickey. Riku. His heart and his mind are made up. Now believe in him. Yeah. Safe journey, Sora. Thank you. I just don't know exactly where we let off. <laughs> What do you mean at the end of the... Well, when we first started doing the Remind. Uh, so that's what the first two videos were, which is probably the first two hours, if I had to guess. So? So you're saying don't start actually processing stuff until... I'm saying... Yeah. It wards off darkness. The first two it's hours. Useful. Told you. The first two videos so, you did were of Remind. So whatever you cut off from that is to continue from there. I learned the reason for my existence. Oh! Tell me more. All around the world. His eyes People changed. live seemingly peaceful lives. They believe themselves to be moral and virtuous, but it's all an act. Darkness lurks in the pit of everyone's heart. Their light is a total farce. Sounds like your trip around the world opened your eyes, but you got a little bit more than you anticipated. You must have seen a lot of darkness. Those who are weak, and who desire greater power, simply strip the strong of their power, and convince themselves they've earned it. That's how people become tainted by darkness. They believe what they want to believe, using hollow reasons as justification. They repeat this cycle, and their darkness grows. So you're saying the weak feel the need to justify their actions to maintain a sense of self. Can't let that slide? No. It's phone? better they be ruled yeah. by darkness. People yeah, carry delusions of having power, but it's a lie. You don't have to read that. They are good? but sheep pretending really to be wolves. You got the gist. Though I admit, I mean, 
I can understand why. Oh, I've never heard that one before. A Keyblade wielder willing to side with the darkness? Why not just let them be until the darkness consumes them? Because left alone, the world would fall to chaos. There needs to be order. You sure about that? Why not just sit back and watch it play out? Understanding hearts is difficult. More so the emotions within. I simply realize that it's easy to dismiss what you don't comprehend. All right, all right. The world needs you. I'll grant you that one. I don't know what I can do, but I will act. What comes next is too important. I suppose letting false light dictate the future might be a pretty lousy move. So, you can make a change. You have that power. What do you want for the world? Power, eh? Who knows? My training's coming to an end, and the exam's not far off. Maybe I can gain some clarity then. You're letting the exam decide? Listen to me. The results don't matter. You believe the world needs you. Sounds like you already know where you're headed. <sighs> it's funny. Somehow, I can sense where I'm supposed to go. And what I'm supposed to do. Yes. Even this coat. There's something familiar about it. As if I'm meant to wear this. Hmm. No. You'll ditch it soon. What do you mean? I mean that one day you're going to outgrow it. How so? If you truly possess great power, the darkness can't control you. You won't need a silly old coat to stay safe. In fact, you'll be the one controlling the darkness instead. Me, on the other hand, I'm too much of a scaredy cat to ever take mine off. Who are you, really? Some kind of fortune teller? Well, I could lie and tell you that's what I am when I'm actually a brilliant artist, or even a scholar. I could tell you that I dream of world peace when I'm actually planning for its destruction. The truth is what you see with your eyes, not what you hear. What's wrong? So, your name? What did I just... Never mind. I guess there's no harm. My name is... I'm a lost master. Lost... master? May your heart be your guiding key. Bah. <laughs> Oh, hell breaks loose. Yep. That guy. <laughs> but so funny, old man. Mind sharing with us? I stand here today because of a fated encounter. Very many years ago, when I was still a young lad, I never learned who he was, and perhaps I never will. But I see now the truth he spoke of. <sighs> we don't have time for bedtime stories. Without the kid, we're still down a 13th vessel. 
And as for the other twelve, only three of us are here right now. Are you absolutely sure the others made their way back to their respective times? Marluxia and Larxene are both here in this time, attempting to locate the new Seven Hearts. Luxerd is also somewhere about in this age, but after our last meeting, he went in search of something per your order. Isn't that so? Huh. Oh, that. Right. Well, let's just say that what he's doing will benefit us in the long run. But it's really of no importance right this second. Go on. Playing your cards close as usual. Hmm. All right. The hearts of Ansem, Semnus, Venitas, Riku Replica, and young Xehanort returned to where they came from and reassembled once more. Each of them is seeking a Guardian of Light. So, the ones who turn human, and then back again into nobodies are... Me, you, Luxord, Marluxia, and Larxene, that's five. The ones from the past transferred into replicas are Ansem, Xemnas, Vanitas, Riku Replica, and the old man's younger self. Then we add the old man in, the total comes up to... 11. I think we're still missing two. Now we must discuss... why we have assembled here today. My incarnations from past times, vessels into which I transferred my heart, my essence, were destroyed. Thus I was restored to what you see now. For one to completely disappear, their heart and body must be restored to their original form. That is one reason why I distributed my heart into several vessels. Ansem and Temnus originated from Terra, or rather his young form, and it too was restored. However, my heart has returned to me, while his is yet lost. I decided to fill this hollow vessel with my heart. Indeed, the very same heart had previously resided within young Terra. So that makes twelve. Then, who do we get to replace the kid? Twenty replicas were created by Vexen. The first twelve were nothing more than puppets, barely human. The prototype model was the Riku replica, and then number I was made. That leaves us with six. Ansem, Xemnas, Venitas, Riku replica, and young Xehanort's hearts. Five vessels, one left. Vexen and Demix are candidates, but backups at best. The plan for the last replica is to give it a heart that is connected to Sora's. Connected to Sora? Anyone in mind? The second prototype that was created, number I. Though erased from memory, it remained in Vexen's records. Its existence is greatly linked to Sora's memories, and thus should prove to be more than adequate for our needs. Number I. An imaginary number. How fitting. While young Xehanort is occupied with transferring hearts, I must go fulfill my duty. I will go and retrieve Vexen. Reliable as always. It sounds to me like you've got everything dependably under control. Well, I'm off to do my part. Yeah.
The plan, as we agreed upon. May your heart be your guiding key. This is... Chirithi! Oh. Back so soon? <sighs> What's wrong? Well... Even with the power of waking, you can't just bring someone back. But Kyrie's heart hasn't been lost yet. She's still with us, right? Maybe, but this time, I'm afraid the situation is a lot worse. Hey, I've already restored six hearts. What's one more? But that's not how it's supposed to work at all. The power of waking is meant to be used to wake and restore sleeping hearts. Not to restore them after they've completely faded away from existence. You've done that six times before. And as a result, you've managed to greatly alter the course of history itself. You've broken a nature taboo. Nature... A forbidden act. Break a taboo of nature, and you'll end up paying an extraordinary price. Oh. I've heard that before. I'm just trying to figure out when so he did it. So, what's the price? You'll lose your powers. You won't be able to use the power of waking. That's all? No problem. But that's not all. You yourself will vanish from this world. And without your powers, you can't return to the world you came from. Hmm. I don't care. What? There's a lot I don't understand. But I know that this is all I can do right now. I have to do everything I can to get Kyrie back. That's the whole reason behind my journey. <sighs> I can't stop you, can I? <sighs> nope. I have to follow my heart. <sighs> well... Then this really is goodbye. So listen carefully to me. Hmm. You'll return to the past again. But you won't be able to rewrite it this time. No matter what happens, you have to accept it and move on. Hope you enjoyed our video, and if you did, you can help support us on our Patreon and other social media sites in listed in the description below. In doing so, this will help us create better content and pursue other lifetime goals and hobbies, such as voice acting and starting or supporting an animal rescue, among other future projects. And on that note, I'd like to say, help control the pet population, have your pet spayed or neutered. Many cities have low-cost or even free spay and neuter services available, as well as some vaccinations and microchipping. Please check your local city animal shelter website for more information. Thanks for watching! See you next time!